What's up, everybody? Sir Aaron Carter here with The Weekend Bang, and we're talking about BlizzCon. That's right, BlizzCon is here, and they've dropped so many bombs on the gaming world that it's incredible. And we have a special guest, of course, today, Macy Rose, coming back off of her award-winning cosplay rundown in South California. You know what to do, but I don't think your friends know what to do. So tell them to go over to Twitter and give us a follow, at Video Game Bang, and then go over to Facebook, slash Video Game Bang Bang, and give us a like on the page. Tell them we want to hear from them, just like you want to hear from us every week. Blizzard has announced one of their biggest IPs in a long time, and we're going to dig straight deep into it. Overwatch is its name, and fun seems to be its game. We'll find that out as we break the game down. But you're pretty tired of hearing me talk by now, so I guess you can go ahead and listen to this week's episode of The Weekend Bang. Another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. The fish gets real. I don't get shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items at my, at my job, he can play the right <laughs> Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. It is very cold in here, everybody. That's how I'm going to start this off. This is the Weekend <laughs> Bang, brought to you by NerdReactor.com. What are you reacting to? I am your host for today, Sir Aaron Carter. I'm getting more and more looking forward to what you're going to say to open up the shows, because it's different every time. It has to be different every time. I like to keep it fresh, popping. What's, what's, what's popping, that's, right? That's the new freshness? Yeah, because if I, if I keep it the same every single time, then people are going to sit in there. They might even fast forward. Who does that? I, I fast forward Law & Order SVU all the time. How I want to hear, hear dun, 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 dun. Yeah, like, oh, I've done it a uh, hundred times. <laughs> Literally, a hundred times, because I'm on season 16. So, so, for those listeners who love chaos, you like the weekend shows. Ah, uh, yes. Do you like the shows that have structure and make sense and have sensibility? And Do you like sense and sensibility? I love Sense and Sensibility. He loves Sense and Sensibility, everybody. Corey Vincent hey, here, everybody. Hey, everybody, what's up, pizza? Same, How's it going? It's the same old everybody. stuff every single <laughs> wow. time. Wow. You Ouch. can, to a clock, you can, to, like, you can <laughs> time it. Oh. Uh, today, also with us, uh, we have the bearded gentleman from the East Coast. Is he? Alexander oh. Bags, everybody. Not from the East Coast. Welcome back, <laughs> Alex. I've missed you. Yeah, I know. It's been, been a while. while. Yeah. I looked at my phone on recording days and been like, oh, okay. Absence, wow. Absence yeah. makes the heart grow fonder in this yeah. sense. That was really good. Also helps you forget about people. That's true. Well, there's one person we couldn't forget about. She's been gone for quite some time. And she's been taking the cosplay world by storm. By Blitzkrieg. From oh, all the way south. What? Yeah. LA, oh, right? LA, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's an LA girl now. All the way, uh, I don't know. Have you ever been to anything north? Huh? Have well, you ever been to any cons north? Yeah. Se- Seattle? Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> Seattle. Um, no, just California cons right okay. now. California. She takes over California. Macy. Hello. It's great to be back, guys. I was going to say Macy Gray. You were. Macy Gray. Oh, oh, no. I've I been heard that too many I times. Gonna, but but I, that's exactly why I stopped, because I'm like, she's probably heard that like 700 yeah. times. Yeah, or, you don't want to keep or, going. Or I hear this too. Macy, like the store? Oh, wow. That's, that's lame. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. lazy. You let us know who that person is. I'm okay. like, yeah, that's we just lazy. We will get them. <laughs> uh, Macy Rose. Did you say Rose? No, because I went into the whole gray thing. So Macy, Macy Rose, Rose, everybody. Tyler. Straight off of Jeez. a victory. You know, what? You just give out everybody's government names like it's just <laughs> what? Free Dude, Bread Wednesday Rose or something Tyler, over here. Is Rose Tyler? Is that the Doctor Who thing? Oh, is that who you were going with? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what you were. I don't even know. Yeah, exactly. Wow. See, this is, how, this is what, I'm used to this. She is know. back from her championship run at uh, what was it called? It was at Stanley's Kamikaze. Stanley's Kamikaze. Did he judge himself? No, he ah. didn't. Unfortunately. But um, they had huge... That's the dementia. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you got guy. first place, and you too. <laughs> and you too. Stan, and I win the grand prize. <laughs> True believers. That was a janitor, Sam. Sam, that was not a cosplay. It was a good costume. We had a mop and everything. <laughs> I thought he was playing Hong Kong fully. How did you have? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Though. Thank you. Uh, 
How was your time down there? Oh, it was wonderful. Um, it was definitely one of my favorite cons I've been to. Um, the LA Convention Center was beautiful. It was huge. Um, and I met a lot of awesome people, and the contest was a blast. I got second place in the video game category. Nice. Oh, they broke it up into categories? Yeah, there was um, there was the individual category, video game, group, and then there was one winner for most energetic. Wow. I'm sorry, what was that word? Energetic. Oh, ener- <laughs> most energetic. Most energetic. Ah, that's, they merged them together with me. I, I thought she said most energetic. <laughs> so I was like, all right. That's cool. I win that prize regularly. That's a cool one. Uh, did you learn anything new from cosplaying over there? Did anybody give you any secrets? Yaya, yeah, yeah, say, hey, you got to sew everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Sew it. Um, the more you sew, the more you Let know. it be sew. sew. Let it sew. Let it sew. There we go. All right. Anybody else got one? Any? <laughs> No tricks. Right, no, uh, we're, we're closing. Um, no, no, no tricks really. But just seeing all the talent there is really inspiring. Awesome. I'm not gonna lie, Macy. I know you're super talented, and that you took the world by storm in Sacramento, and you were going to the big city. And then I started seeing pictures trickle in from social media at all yep. this kamikaze, and I'm like, holy shit! Instagrammers this, were this is a snapping huge them off. Thing. Yeah. yeah, and there's amazing costumes. I was worried for a second, and then. The text came and it was like I got second place and we were all what were we doing at the time we were all we were playing a board game Marvel board <laughs> yeah, game. we were being living it up playing yeah. a board game most of us drunk <laughs> and uh, I was sober everybody I, we, we recorded, I was probably drunk and I wasn't even there <laughs> <He> said, <laughs> we Nailed recorded it. A, a celebration video we did to her. did you get that yes I did that nice. was so awesome it was, we were so proud and uh, thank t- you who were the judges um the judges were Yaya Han mm-hmm. um Castle Corsetry. Um, they make uh, they make a lot of cool things. They make like dresses and stuff and cosplays for people. Um, and then Reeves Effects, he's a prop maker. And then um, oh, and then Ivy Doom Kitty. Oh, yeah, mm. Miss Ivy. Wow. Our yeah, girl. she she judged down here too during the uh, she did the sack anime. Oh no, not sack anime. She Excuse judged me, the, uh, Wizard World. The Wizard Sacramento. World. There you go. The so you Wizard have basically World. Basically, an undefeated record in a way because you have a an honorable mention at one and then a second place. What's next? Are you are you fueled to keep trying the competitions or? Yeah, I think I would love to keep competing. It's really fun. So it's competitive cosplay. Well, if you do and you have time after the show, you should fly quickly as you can because BlizzCon, BlizzCon is going Con. on right now, everybody, wow, and go. you know there's plenty of cosplayers there. All going to be, of course, you know, Blizzard inspired. Maybe some I'm, Activision. There's at least hero. three Darth yeah. Vader's. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. There's uh, at least three Darth Vader's anywhere. Oh yeah, I know. At any given I know. moment, you can go to Walmart right now and find a. a I am actually three Darth Vader's <laughs> right <you>? now. <laughs> yeah, as That's we all fun. know, BlizzCon is the uh, annual celebration of the winter solstice that comes over Norway every four thousand years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God bless Norway. So. <laughs> Uh, but if you didn't know, BlizzCon just started. Today is a Saturday, if you didn't know. It started Friday, and they have already been dropping huge bombs over there uh, about a whole bunch of stuff. Their World of Warcraft movie, which people are still excited for, for some strange, odd reason. Because they make great cinematics. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it is, it, great. is it just going to be one big cinematic then? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that all movie? So are? sad. Isn't that what a movie so is? So sad. A <laughs> cinematic? Hold on, you, don't you go to a cinema to watch a cinematic? When I'm thinking of cinematics, I'm thinking of cutscene. You think Hideo, cut Hideo Kojima, no dialogue, cutscene. Well, he's a Japanese filmmaker, is what it sounds like. I'm just saying. Type of thing. I'm yeah. just saying. Uh, they had a Hearthstone tournament down there, uh, and they actually crowned the champion today. Oh, oh yeah, really? Yeah. What's his Do we name? know who won? Uh, his name is um, Loser Mc. I don't know any <laughs> other game fans. So <laughs> I haven't heard of him. Yeah, he's actually was pretty... he the dark horse of the tournament. He's, he's, he's actually uh, yeah, yeah. He was a surprise uh, when I saw his name at the uh, the final loser. I was like, what? <laughs> loser made it the whole time. Winner, loser. Wait, what? Crazy. Uh, actually, I heard um, Heroes of the... not Heroes of the Storm. Hearthstone is actually a very easy game to pick up. It is. Is it? Yeah. You played the game? Yeah, I played it when it first came out. Um, I've been really busy lately, so I haven't gotten into it. Um, but at the beginning, yeah, it was super fun. I like I've, it. I've been meaning to download it's it. Like, um, magic. it's like Magic. Never mind. Magic? It's better. Than, <laughs> I'm, it, I'm it's, interested. It's, way more, it's more bit. streamlined than Magic. Yeah, and it's it's a little e- Don't easier. Don't say it's better than Magic. Cause... I, I retracted that statement okay. as soon as I said it. Did <laughs> you hear you me? Can, hey, I stick, said it's more streamlined. Stick by your guns. It's a free game, right? It is 100% How does it make its money, though? Uh, you can buy packs or whatever. Yeah, you can buy packs and characters. 
cards, I think. Or special cards, yeah. Yeah, I think special cards. Is it on the Xbox One? Not yet. Oh. No. It's on mobile, though, isn't it? Yeah, I believe it did come out on mobile. I it... think it's coming to tablet soon. I think it's on iPad. We all think. So <laughs> yeah. uh, don't take our word on it, our word for it. They actually come out with uh, came out with an expansion. Goblins vs. Gnomes was announced. Um, so if you're into goblins or gnomes or both. Is that, so is that their second expansion then? I'm thinking so. Because the first one was a Curse of Naxxramas or whatever, right? Who t- who t- yeah. Did Wow, the two on the couch are just schooling wow. us so far. I know, because we, we need to talk no about something you did, they real. Did the, you could do the four wings and fight bosses from wow. Max Ramus. Yeah. Really? It was really cool. It was like a single player thing, and you had to build decks that would be good against Stor- them. Like a story mode type of thing? Or like a single uh, player campaign? It was like running the Max Ramus raid from the game. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. know what that means. I don't. <sighs> Terrible. Leroy Jenkins. Uh, yeah. And if you're into the Warcraft movie again, you can go onto their website and actually pick uh, Horde or Alliance because they're going to be, you know, monitoring that for some odd reason. For the Horde. Wow, you're a Horde, huh? Yes. And that was the correct choice. Yeah. Uh, How dare you? I don't know. How you guys are a bunch of hordes. dare you? You <laughs> dirty Horde. As soon I as I installed hard. that game and I saw that I can choose between Horde or Alliance, it was a no-brainer. Yeah, you're boring. Alliance. Yep, straight. you're boring. Straight down Boring. and narrow. I swear, I wish, I promise and you, I wish. And you pick the human, and you pick... I <laughs> you're the worst. Well, because this is me coming straight off of Fantasy Star. It and doesn't the, matter. The human, no, Dwarf no, is the matter. correct choice. It does matter. The human in Fantasy Star is like a jack of all trades. So I just pick the human, like, warrior. So he can use weapons, guns, magic. Like, he's, you know, like I said, he dabbles in a little everything. But he only makes it to a certain point, and then he stops. Whereas a, a magician uh, in that game... Would go higher, and they you have you know bigger animations for their you know magic and all that stuff. So I pick a warrior, thinking, oh, I'm gonna be a little of everything, you know. I didn't know anything about MMOs. I didn't know anything about RPGs. World of War. It sounds like no, no, JRPGs. Yes, I did know. You know a lot about JRPGs. <laughs> so, JRPGs are weird. So I got in there, and when I was like, so I'm just supposed to take hits. Yep. That's what I do. You're a tank now. And I was like, I do not like this, Sam. I am. So I went around taking pictures of the whole environment. <laughs> did we even say nerdreactor.com or any of that stuff here? Yeah. We did? Did you not hear me in the beginning say... I tuned you out. Well, okay. see, that's the problem. Uh, did that's... you talk about the giveaway? I did not talk about the giveaway. We're giving out chlamydia, everybody. We're giving... <laughs> no, yeah, we're giving out chlamydia. We're giving yeah. out a bunch of stuff that we have on us. <laughs> that's that's not what we're... Yeah, we're just... Yeah, we're giving out chlamydia. chlamydia. So, all so you meet us do... at the Motel 6 on uh, <laughs> I-80. Ew. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. What other way do you want us to give you chlamydia? Gee. <laughs> What do you have to do, Corey? All you have to do is you got to follow us on Twitter, at Video Game Bang. You follow Macy Rose on Twitter, at underscore Macy... Underscore... Underscore Rose, Rose. underscore... <laughs> that is that is a brilliant name. Well, can you tell us why you came up with so many underscores? Well, I wanted to just do my Macy underscore Rose, but it was already taken, so... I wanted to still correlate with my other usernames and not be totally different. So, yeah. We'll work on something. So at underscore Macy underscore Rose underscore and video game bang and then tweet us something with the hashtag Rose bang that makes us smile and we'll send you something if you're the top five people we draw. Then you'll be invited to the Hotel 6 on IA. <laughs> Where Aaron the Hotel will be- Motel Holiday yeah, Inn. Aaron exactly. will be waiting for you. Loaded with chlamydia. Loaded to the brim. So he has chlamydia. so much chlamydia. Just to, to give to you. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. the Santa Claus of chlamydia. It's the gift that stays with you for <laughs> a Santa lifetime. chlamydia Claus? Yeah. Mm. It's a huge sack of chlamydia. So, they also announced StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Yeah. You know what that is? That's the next uh, campaign single. Protoss story? Yeah. Yeah. So, what was the first one called? Wings of Liberty. Wings of Liberty. The second one... Heart of the Swarm. Heart of the which Swarm. Which unfortunately has the same exact initials as Heroes of the Storm. Wow. Whoops. Oh, that's going to be confusing. Mm, it, was. it won't be that confusing. So the next one is Legacy of the Void. So you're going to get your Protase uh, of the Protoss. Right? See what I did there? Uh, that's clever. Yeah. Right? I like it. I like the Protoss when I was playing. Um, I mean, I'm always going to go Terran, though. They're just beast. Uh, I was always Team uh, Command and Conquer. What? So, who the hell plays Command and Conquer? Uh, maybe, I did I once accidentally. Exactly. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> he probably turned it. No, this... I, I never. I actually missed the boat on Command and Conquer. Well, you could tell when Command and Conquer started to like, see, oh shit, we're losing. We need to do something. When they made Yuri's Revenge, where they went from like military to like military with German engineered psychopath guys, and 
But that was good too. Any RTSs, Maisie Rose? No. No, yeah. Smart move. She said nah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, one of Blizzard's huge, huge announcements, in my opinion, is the announcement of a new IP called Overwatch. Overwatch is set in the world of a fictional character named uh, Oberon, where he plays as a uh, liaison between the Egyptian culture and... Um, Are you making this up? Does it sound like I'm making this <laughs> it up? It does a little bit. Oh, my God. Did you not read the notes? <laughs> no, I don't. They're right the to your right. I'm reading directly off of them. That's sad that you believe oh, oh, me. Wow. No, you're not. <laughs> it's sad that he believed me. Yeah. So you Jeez. did make all that up. Yes. I'm Corey, a storyteller. They took Gillable out of the dictionary. Well, I was thinking, <laughs> Oberon, would his followers be ovaries? No. Okay. Oberon, <laughs> Overwatch is a squad-based combat people with two opposing teams. Uh, what I did read on a uh, another website, they said that this was actually supposed to be in their previously canceled MMO. Uh, this was the combat uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure of that. And so they just took it out and made it a standalone. That's... The one that they canceled? Yes, yes. Okay. Project Titan. Project Titanfall. No. It's, no. Project Titan. It was basically... It, was, it was a Titanfall. Project Titan. But it was Project Titan. <laughs> you guys going to fight like this? Uh, each, team has, each team has a role of attack and defend. I like that. Uh, in both payload and point capture uh, game modes, players will select from unique heroes. And these are some definitely unique heroes. You get... Uh, when you watch the cutscene, when you go online and watch the cutscene, it gives off a Pixar thing, uh, like Pixar feel. Uh, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yes. What do you mean? You guess? <laughs> I didn't get a Pixar. I didn't get a Pixar feel from it. Which, which, which one? Did you I see? got two boys. I got what? The two boys in the museum. Oh, the cinematic. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I didn't watch the cinematic. I watched okay. the gameplay. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I'll no one's gonna be that playing one. that for the story. Yeah, there's not really a story yeah. there. Yeah. So you don't need to watch cinematics. I don't know. I was, I was that cinematic is very good. Thing. I'd rather see that movie. You know what? You know what? Also, really movie. had a good cinematic. Dead Island. Everyone. Uh, that was a great cinematic. But that was a good game. It no, good game. Yes, Dead Island was. one. No, that game was awful. That, that game was, was amazing. That game was terrible. Cinema <laughs> way. What's wrong with you, <laughs> Macy? I heard terrible things about that game. About Dead Island. She heard, <laughs> yeah, did. probably exclusively from Alex. Yeah, but you guys true. been hanging out on the same no. 4chan boards. <laughs> that game is terrible. The game is awful. No, it's the game like is the good. Cinematics. What didn't you like about that? I'm, I'm sorry. Girl, it wasn't fun. I literally was falling asleep playing it. How did you not like that? Did you it play was with stupid. Friends? Did you play with friends? I did. I played with three other friends. We Good had a friends. full... Yes. Good video, like? good video game playing friends. Did you go... Did you meet the girl who was trying to... Yeah, I know. No one in this room. The, being, the making the cool weapons. No. And then the front kick. Spending $600 to put a nail in a bat. Kick? Yeah, that's true. No, still, that's true. There you but go. But still, remember how we would just run up to a, like, a big ass dude. We'd front kick him yeah. to the face. And, and then all you just of us, mud stomp him. Yeah, it looked like we were like yeah, was street hoodlums just kicking Dumb. Him. Was that awesome. was good. That was boring. I don't know. I, that's wow. wow. I got pissed when they added. Uh, they made throwing the kicks take your stamina away. Yeah, because they fixed a broken game. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that was definitely upset. broken. Oh wait, we, so you liked it because it was broken? Because it was just fun. So it was bad. It was mindless fun. It yeah. was too mindless. No, uh, it wasn't that. There's no mindless. such thing for me, sir. It wasn't that. Mindless. Yeah, it was. You didn't like picking champagne and bringing it back to the old champagne. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't. European. I really drink. actually hated that. Wow, I can't believe it. It's it's an awful know, game. I don't even know who you are right now. Angry right now. I don't even know who you are right his now. His face matches his hair. Uh, but back to the BlizzCon announcement of Overwatch. Uh, these characters are pretty cool. They look. Hold oh, on, I'm sorry. You know, there's listeners trying to figure out what you look like in real life. I know. Because we always allude to it, but do. I don't think you could find you anywhere on the internet. I'm going to draw a picture of him, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'll Everyone it, on the cast should draw a picture of me to I, see what they can I do. I will put it up on the uh, the little icon or whatever. People for... piece things together because we'll say one thing one week. So they'll be like, okay, so far from what I hear, he looks like so-and-so with red beard. And it's funny that they're getting close. Please, it somebody. is No Shave November, everyone. Please, Please somebody Do we have any him. police sketch artists listening to the show? We <laughs> probably have one. <laughs> He's going to draw like the most perfect form. It's be spot on. <laughs> like, whoa, that's, that's right. That's well, scary. That's what I do for a living, everybody. <laughs> Now go catch that rapist. <laughs> Game modes they have on there. <laughs> so far, they've only said uh, uh, point capture and payload. Those are the only two that they've announced so far. But, you know, with this type of game, they're probably going to have more. Um, you have your basic classes out there. Your tank support, you know, offense, defensive type of characters. Well, they're hitting more than just the Holy Trinity, too, which I think is kind of cool. Which is very cool. Um, they have, what, three different maps so far? And their maps do look pretty... Um, Unique, I would say. Yeah, I'd love to see um, like a gameplay analysis on the maps, though, because if you look at like Counter Strike maps, 
people analyze each and every way that you can go and they try and figure out the pros and cons of it and like you can look at heat maps of like people playing it so people if people always go mid on a map there might be something wrong with that map because mm-hmm. the other options aren't worth going uh i'd love to see an analysis on those because they look good and there's a lot of verticality too in those maps which i thought was really cool they got like the streets of london they got uh the streets of japan and the streets of egypt which is actually streets a... apparently yeah they're all streets. they love streets yeah there's no streets in every other place no streets of rage no well actually right now the only playable ones they have payload on uh in london uh the point capture and the other two uh, but when I first saw the little trailer, the gameplay trailer, I thought it was all like Egyptian themed. Uh, yeah, I did, at first, I did too. But then they started showing other races, and I was like, eh, okay, okay. Is whatever. the plan for this game to go uh, free to play? I, I haven't have read not, anything. I haven't heard yeah. anything on that. But I would, I would hope so. It looks like it's going to be a free to play type of game. You don't want it to be? No, I, I don't think mm, I would. No. Why? No, Please I'd rather have. Me. I'd rather purchase it up front if it has a bunch of different classes. But here, here's the deal, Alex. Would you? be upset then if they kept adding dlc characters if they kept adding dlc characters that i did not already that i didn't get for buying the game yeah i'd be mad okay so what would you choose then if, if this is a game they plan on like making like a league where they keep introducing new characters would you rather have it free to play or purchase i'd rather have it purchase i get all the characters cosmetics are for real money hmm. a la dota 2 macy you play any uh, battle arena games mobas not so much. I, I've dabbled in League, but that's mm, it. That's a sad, sad dabble. <sighs> it's you a tough not. game to get into, though. I, I like what I've played, but it's kind of hard. Oh, yeah. It's definitely. Yeah. Uh, not for my 13-year-old brother, apparently, though. When you're young, you got, the, you, now. you got the twitch yeah. reflexes. And... Yeah. He, I told, and the desire. I told him the last uh, yeah. episode that he's level 30 silver. and uh, Really? Yes. Yes. It's not like the old. So days. there's literally 13 year old kids playing that game. Literally, mm. literally, and I played better, better than me. I played right. with them and totally shamed the family name online. You did, <laughs> yes, you I did. did. As he got kill after kill after kill. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, it's it's interesting <clears throat> when that happens with League specifically. Just it reminded me of old school games where when you're young, you want to be the best. Now I'm just too old. And I don't care anymore. Like, right. I'd rather find my fun, have my fun, and then go yeah, take a nap. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like in the new Call of Duty, I'm playing it thinking I could get good at this, but I really just want to run and gun. And in Call of Duty, if you run and gun, you're it's a death sentence. What? Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> that point and click adventure? <laughs> yeah. So I exactly. just I just Googled Overwatch free to play and um it just says question mark. Perfect. All Literally. right. Literally. It, it says <laughs> Blizzard announces Overwatch, which is totally free to play, right? Maybe. Yeah, so I don't know. I wouldn't see it bad as a free to play. To me, it feels like a free to play just from well, looking at it. They've done very well with the Hearthstone business model, too, right? Yeah, right? So, I mean, if you if it's, if it's one of these games where they're going to keep continuing to come out with champions over and over and over again, and I can play the game long enough to unlock them myself then I'm fine with that because if the game is fun, I'm going to want to continue to play. And then that means I'm going to build up that virtual fake money that I'm going to spend on that next character. Yeah, the character. league system has it, I guess, close to right, I, I guess. How could it be? How... Yeah. In kind how, of, how you could but you can still day one money. throw real money at it. Like, yeah. And there's a, there's a curve to that because then you also keep those characters. So if you've been playing, I don't know. I don't like the idea of you unlock this character and now you can use it uh, but you you know you don't have a repertoire you don't have the whole repertoire so you can't have the same full game as someone else right off the bat I don't yeah. really like that so then give them the option just like how Smite, Smite did, did it very well and they the gave up people front yeah versus like over yeah, yeah like it was buying, thirty like, bucks up front and then now you have every character right. they ever will make right I like that I really like that idea I think that's cool so there's enough examples out there how free to play can definitely work so what do for... we this thing it looks kind of like. Well, it's more Team content Fortress, distribution. Right? Yeah, so that's the first ex- um, which, first which comparison. Free to play. Yeah, that's the first comparison that everybody keeps putting it to is the Team Fortress type of setup because you have two different, you know, opposing teams that are probably going to use the same type of champions. There's going to be some type of meta, of course, and they're just, you know, objective. I haven't seen like a, you know, like I said, there's only two modes right now, so they haven't said like, oh, deathmatch, and you know, it's always like a point capture or the other one looks like a capture the flag type of thing or capture the case type of situation Hmm. but um one thing that i did like that i heard that i read an article heard and read an article Hmm. uh microsoft sam is reading it to to kind (laughs) of move it away from uh having a 
a meta. It's like Call of Duty to where you, if you die, you can change your character and respawn as somebody new. Oh, okay. That's interesting. How do we feel about that one? It's like TF2. <laughs> I, I, I had a lot of fun playing TF2. That's why I'm really actually kind of excited for this. Mm-hmm. I want to see what they do differently uh, to make it worth playing, make it separate. Because I don't want it to turn into everyone thinking this game is really, really awesome and it's just a TF2 clone uh, of sorts and the Blizzard drones are like, oh my god, greatest game ever. And it's like, yeah, I played it back when you know Valve released it. How many uh, characters are in TF2 2. though? There's only the, what, seven? So eight, th- this nine, is already whatever. just flooding it with all sorts of it is. Well, yeah. It is, but I'm sure a lot of them are going to be very similar in uh, and from the actions. And we'll get into it in the second half of the, uh, the, the show because we're going to break down each of the characters and everything like that, but um, the other thing that I wanted to to talk about on this one was, oh no, we did actually we we're free to play damn thing. Yeah, wow, that was crazy. Beat you to it. Wow, suck yeah. on! I didn't even read the notes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the game modes. Uh, just to go into a small little bit more detail, payload features a payload which the attacking team must escort. Uh, to a certain delivery point before the time runs out to claim victory. Uh, the defending team must prevent the pay the payloads in advance. Until time runs out. It's literally the same name as TF2. It really? What do they do? Because I haven't played payload TF2. maps. They have they payload maps, yeah. Oh, wow. Where you escort a bomb and you have to stand next to it for it to move and people can defend it. I don't kind of like that. You just I love it. There's also block. another one, Payload Race, where you each have one and you're trying to get it to the end. At that the same time? Yeah, that one's oh, really, really fun. Cool. And sometimes they cross <laughs> paths. Like one will start in your spawn, but you're trying to get to their spawn, and they're doing the opposite. So you'll ha- you kind of meet in the middle and gotta fight each other. Awesome. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, that sounds fun. In TF2, I'm concerned about <laughs> wow. is the uh, it's there's clearly good guys and then there's cl- clearly bad guys. Well, they are we gonna be able to mix on the team? Like, yeah, I really like playing I as think the Reaver you're gonna guy. Have to. Yeah, okay. I think what the what they showed because what Corey's referring to is they actually have. A lot of lore behind each of the characters and everything. A lot like is that. a strong word. Well, they have a lore behind the whole universe uh, that's in there, and then each character has a little, you know, description about a little of their background. So you have people like a character named Reaper, who was an assassin, but he looks like some type of a bad He's guy. He's a or terrorist. Or a terrorist. That's what they called him. Yeah. Uh, Widowmaker was an assassin. She is. And then they had somebody like uh, what's the British girl? Speed girl. Yeah, we'll name her. Trace. After. Yeah, Tracer. Tracer. <clears throat> she was a pilot during this war or this downtime or whatever that happened in the world of Overwatch. And uh, so I, don't know, I think that's just to let you know a little bit more about the character that you're picking. But I can pick Reaver, and you can pick the gorilla guy, and we can be friends. Why well, I got to pick the gorilla thing. guy? You racist? Uh, wow, Winston is actually very wow. intelligent. What does that mean? A lot of black people are intelligent. <laughs> we don't like to be compared to gorillas, though. I tell you that. Just keep on digging, Corey. Keep Jeez. on digging. <laughs> no, this guy apparently obviously had a job at one point. Yeah, he's yeah clearly the good one. Right? Yeah, one of the yeah, good he's ones. One huh? of the good ones. Wow, wow. But he has a good credit rating <laughs> That's too. Awful. That <laughs> Terrible. A gorilla That's... with a credit rating. Uh, point Stranger capture... things have happened. <laughs> point capture features several critical objects. Uh, it's freaking uh, domination. Yeah, it's domination. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, what that off one the is. Jump, Aaron, seriously, do you have a favorite character early? Early Hanzo. Hanzo. Which so one is far, that? he is the, oh, the, bow and the bow and arrow guy. Oh, mm-hmm. I was going to say Hanzo. I'm sorry. Him. I like the monk, dude. He was cool. I like him. I don't think I got. I don't know what he does. Him. That's why I like him. I think he looks like he just throws balls. <laughs> yeah, he can actually. Well, I like we'll get that. into it. Like I said, wow. in the second half. We'll, <laughs> okay. Just putting my balls on people's face. Wow. Mm, on the second balls. half of the show, everybody, we're going to break down each individual character. Uh, I want to know which one, Macy. Macy, who do you like? Her? Widow girl. She looks awesome. The and Whittle girl, like the little the widow. Terrible. Widow. Oh, what I said too <laughs> earlier. Does, does Macy have a speech impediment. What I said too <laughs> earlier was that these characters look like they're going to be heavily cosplayed. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. yeah, all my cosplay friends are already posting who they're going to do, do and what they're going to be. And stuff. Do you guys have to like claim it so you guys don't all do the <laughs> <Wow>. same one? <laughs> no, that's the cool thing with cosplay is nobody minds. It's cool to find somebody that likes what you like. You so. have seven nobody widows. I know when I go to work makers. and someone's wearing the same shirt, I look at them and go like, damn it. I high five them. <laughs> <laughs> like, Target? <laughs> yeah, Target. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of these because it's all 12 characters we're going to break down uh, when we come back, of course, from the break. There is, and actually, I want you guys to look at the videos before we do that, too, okay? So stick around for the second half of the weekend, Bang and BlizzCon and Overwatch and anything else we feel like talking about in the middle of the uh, the show. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Hi, this is Amber Goldfarb, the voice of Aveline de Grand Pre, and you're listening to Video Game Bang. Hello, this is Kas Anvar Al Tayyir Ibn La Ahad from Assassin's Creed Revelation, and you are listening to the Video Game Bang. This is Strife, the main guy behind Freedom Planet. This is Commander Tor. Hi, this is Lilac the Dragon Girl. This is Spade. This is Mayor Zhao. This is Syntax. Greetings. This is Lord Brethren. And you're listening to Video Game Bang. Plus five awesome. Hey man, I'm Kevin Smith. Jason Muse. And you're listening to the Video Game Bang, which sounds a lot dirtier than it is. This is Janice Davis, author of Holder's Dominion. And you're listening to Video Game Bang with superstar, incredibly charming hosts. Hello, Super Heron. Hello, Princess Cory. It's me, Mario. Woohoo! Mamma mia. You guys, number one. Woohoo! Oh, time off work. It's, it's, time off. Yeah, that's, that's another sucks thing. getting old, man. Uh, I wouldn't say old. I would say uh, you're old, man. mature. You're old. Yeah, you're Shut up. Old. I would say mature. And seeing young Macy here next to old, decrepit Aaron, it really <laughs> accentuates your oldness. I look younger than both of you two, first of all. Wow. I <laughs> uh, feel probably younger than both of you, you two probably, since I'm actively you, yeah. uh, in sports, and I just went hiking. Wow. Yeah, you said you went hiking. That was... Uh, where did you hide? Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you just have to get away. Welcome back to the <laughs> oh, here show. We go. Welcome back here to the show. We First of all, Weekend Bang. We're talking about BlizzCon and hiking. Uh, Tell us about this. So hiking. the other day, I... Was it a date? No, it was not a date. Oh, all right. Um, it would have been nice. That would have been nice, though. Um, I don't hike. I can tell. You went to uh, Folsom. <laughs> Folsom to hike. So I went to Folsom. In I go there to work. Lovely California. Uh, there was a giant lake. Folsom Lake. Was it Folsom Lake? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was Folsom because Lake. This is the thing. But it was I a lake in Folsom. <laughs> Anybody that knows me, I don't really like lo- road trips at okay. all. Um, well, that's good because you just went to Folsom. Uh, so, and it's like a... <laughs> not a road trip at <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah, it's not a road trip. But it's... No. I went it's by a myself. Daily commute for me. I went by myself. I just got in the car and was like, I'm just going to drive. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to drive go. somewhere, man. I'm just going to get done out that. of here. He put so, on his... Favorite Melissa, down, Melissa Etheridge album and, and just hit the and road. Just, yeah, put it on shuffle and no, then just went all the way down. Way, no. <laughs> and uh, I got lost, uh, which is very difficult to do with technology surrounding you, like a you know GPS <laughs> built into your phone and your tablet, which were both with me. Uh, but I was just looking for any type of bike trails or any type of you know trails or whatever. So I found one, got my camera, got out the car, and two hours just walked around in the quote unquote wilderness in the Folsom wilderness in the mm. Folsom wilderness but it was nice it was like that village movie where you pan out like 30 feet and there was a giant mall yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. were you scared of not being attacked by like a wild like a like a cougar like a like wild a, white person like a cougar. wild white people yeah cougar? <laughs> maybe no 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 like I a was... cougar I get what yes, you're saying. All right. I get the damn joke. Acknowledge me. <laughs> Good joke. Good joke. Uh, the only wildlife I saw was like with them, by the way. lizards and And then there's a prison squirrels. there, too. So. so, yeah. I was in danger <laughs> constantly then. He could have ended up in Folsom Prison. Some guy jumps out of the bushes in an orange jumpsuit, and I'm like, uh, that way? <laughs> High five him. Yeah. On the way out. Did you say you ran into a creepy old lady? I ran into two creepy people. I tell you that I was going through uh, a thicket, as a, you called it. Yes, I, I called love it a thicket. Thicket. A huh? thicket. Uh, I was going through some <laughs> a thicket, uh, just trying to get pictures because I just like taking the pictures. Like I literally have two hundred pictures. Thicket. I haven't heard uh, that since school. I have two hundred pictures saved to like my cloud of just random trees, bushes, like close ups on leaves, uh, the the lizards, the squirrels, <laughs> a cat. One somebody's cat. somebody's house cat, I believe, too, because I had a collar oh. in the middle of like a swampy looking area, and like I I don't even know how I saw it. I was walking down a path, and then I just felt like something gleaming on me, and I looked, and he just stopped and stared at me like, "This is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do." So this yeah, is, now, this is my me time. I was going through. There was a fallen tree. I had to climb over this fallen tree or whatever to get further into the the bramble. And wow, uh, more was it awesome. a bramble thicket? There was a bramble thicket. Oh, and that's why there was a creepy. I person. come to a small like clearing. Uh, yeah, not really because clearing would imply that I could see more. <laughs> I would be like no. So they were. It was uh, a lady and her like four year old son, and they were just eating something. 
It was like a sandwich, I believe. Oh, wow. Maybe a it mayonnaise. Was, it wasn't like a human body. I didn't yeah. look. Because <laughs> I didn't feel like they were eating yeah. something. Because she looks up and goes, Johnny's hungry. Because yeah, she, <laughs> she, cause she looked at me and she's like, say hello, uh, you know, Billy, whatever his Child name, name was. Yeah. <laughs> Child and name. he did not. She's he like progressive. He looked down <laughs> into his meal. And he just continued to he'd, eat. He'd probably never seen a black person. So I was like, and that's what I thought. I was one of the first things. Well, actually, the first thing I thought this was a setup. You know, one of these two, <laughs> one of these two is going to murder you. Yeah, like yeah. This is it's just always the kid. This is a dummy doll kid right here. Head I'm going to get closer. Off. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pumpkin. Yeah. So I was like, you're my baby. I was like, hello. <laughs> I've got I've got my camera with me, you know. I'm like, hello, you know, how you doing? <laughs> what? And, you got comfort hello. because you had your camera with you? Uh, yeah. Pitches I'm gonna snap off. Yeah, start snapping. I got you on camera. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then it and has then a flash. I can you know blind she, somebody. She crushes wow. the camera and okay. and then yeah, and then eats my entrails. Yep. But no, and then I moved on and you know saw a whole bunch of. Nah, I'm glad you had this experience. It, it was fun though. I like I'm going glad. out to places that I've never really been on my own and stuff like that because I've been a Folsom, but. This was just me getting out. And he wasn't you know? even scared. Not at all. I love going to explore. And I'll uh, post the pictures online sometime in the near future. This is like one of the most lonely Hashtag stories. Hashtag walkabout. Yeah, the most lonely stories we've ever told That's on the show. That's not true. It's not lonely. But if you think about it, like... Being alone is not lonely, Corey. Like, yeah. Cause I, I, hey, listen. I've been alone for the last 10 days. And that's right? what's sad. <laughs> That you feel lonely, and you're losing only your shit. Yeah. That's the problem. I did. Yes, I. Because I, I, the way I look at it too, I'm like, I'm around people literally twenty four seven of you know all the time. Mm. If I'm not at home, mm, if I'm not true. at work, you know, I come here. There's people everywhere. The moral of the story: Go outside. So yeah, I like no. to get outside. I like to get away from the video games. Uh, I'm not so much away from the technology because I don't want to get lost and not know where the hell to go. I drove on some roads down there, and uh, my service stopped working on my phone. I was like, "Fuck!" Oh, yeah. It was getting dark, and it was late at night, yeah, and no. it was like farmland everywhere. And I'm like, "I'm gonna get murdered out How here." Did people do this in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I went uh, <laughs> the 80s. Yeah. I went crisp in the morning too. Like, oh, that's good. It's still, good time. you know. And there were so many noises in the thicket. <laughs> <laughs> noises in the thicket by Aaron Carter. <laughs> That's my second album. <laughs> That's my second what was the first one? How uh, your night? Yeah. Is like how how your night is like them all. <laughs> wow, Aaron's poetry book. Man, I'm. All right, let's move on to some video games. That was so awesome. let's hit up the Overwatch by Blizzard. We just literally spent about five. 10 minutes, I don't know what it a was. A year, it's been yeah. a year every Watching week. every single trailer for all these characters, so I would call us now experts. I would say so. First character we're going to talk up is the British fun-loving Tracer. Tracer's a young pilot with a cute accent, which everybody, I would say, agrees on. I right? think we all oh, think yes. she's adorable. Her basic uh, moves are, she has like these two pistols she can shoot, uh, but she does this time warp thing where she can blink forward in time. Uh, a la... Mm. I thought she goes back in time. That's the she second part. Yeah. Oh, wow. She also can rewind she time. both ways. Yeah. I and like it. Each character, my, uh, should I say, uh, has some sort of ult. If you don't know what an ult is, it's like their ultimate move or something like that. Um, a big special ability with a long cooldown, usually. It, there you go. And her ult, which is Q in the uh, Overwatch world, she drops a pulse bomb. Also, a sticky type of bomb, so you can stick it. Her basic uh, combo was to blink towards somebody, drop a sticky bomb on them, and then reverse time for herself and watch the explosions from a good distance. Are we seeing this version's Teemo in this character? This is going to no. be what a lot of younger people gravitate towards. and We think it's cute now, but it's going to get really annoying really quick. I don't think so. Macy, what did you think of this Tracer character? Oh, she looked adorable, and I liked her special ability. That was super cool. She seems like she's going to be uh, your basic character that everybody's going to learn. Like they, when they have the tutorials, oh, like they're going to be like, "No, they have tutorials with Timo." Timo was like the easiest character to pick up, though. Okay, well, right. cricket, 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 right. cricket. <laughs> uh, any thoughts on this one, Alex? What on Tracer? Tracer, because you said you uh, rage quit if somebody. She just... looks cool. I didn't realize that the pulse bomb was an ult, though. Because if yes. if it's only if it's an ult and it's on a decent cooldown, like. I don't know. It's the idea that I, I want to be able to counterplay it, too. Okay. I don't want her to be able to blink, blink, stick, blink, blink, and, well, well I'm dead. You know, there, there was nothing I could do to beat that. Uh, and if it's on a low enough cooldown, that could be really frustrating. But she seems really cool. I like the ability to 
Blink Forward uh, reminds me of being a mage and WoW. That and they, <clears throat> they actually, that's what I was looking for when I said Allah, and then nobody said WoW. Well, that's money. not through time, though. It's through space. Yeah, We're not even going to get into that type of conversation <laughs> right now. It's very different. Um, the other thing that I saw, if you didn't see the, uh, the, the cinematic trailer, they showed her, and they showed her ability, like, run out. In the cinematic trailer, you didn't. We didn't watch that. One oh, the brief, that's uh, right. The remember? one that Alex skipped. Yeah, no. So like, she I've hides, only been linked to the gameplay trailer. So. She hides the whenever she can't blink. Yeah, anymore. her little chest piece thing runs out of juice or something. She has to hide. So I don't. know. Maybe that indicates cooldown. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe well, there's. It sounds like it's a cooldown just resource thing. Is oh, sorry, Alfred just told me that a message appeared on my phone. Wow. Sorry, everybody. Professionalism, Aaron. Professionalism. You're hosting a podcast. Composure. All right. Sorry, Alfred. Uh. But the thing that you were talking about that I, I do uh, understand is making her cue her you know her ult that bomb instead of doing like her reverse time as her ult or something like that. So right. maybe that was their answer to your potential gripe right. with that character. Uh, Moving on! Next character, Winston Churchill, a giant monkey. That's not uh, a monkey. He is a gorilla. Yep. Uh, a silverback? Probably. Are we going to go with that? I've never seen a silverback uh, transform into a red-haired monkey and start tearing shit apart. I have never seen a monkey in a power suit. <laughs> That's a good call. Yeah, uh, good call. Well, like we said before, he is a gorilla. He has a Tesla cannon as his basic attack. Uh, it just looks like an electric, you know, uh, steady... I didn't see the ammo on out. that. Was there... Was it, do you I think it's a either. charge thing? I think it's a charge thing, yeah. Do you I, think it regenerates over... You played Evolve, right? Yeah. Did you play as the Assault ever? Yeah, that's all he was. Was, yeah, oh, okay. all he did. So the lightning cannon, yeah, yeah, when you yeah. let go, it recharge after... It wasn't like a clip-based thing or a full recharge or anything. I really liked that. Yeah, I didn't notice any of that really on this. I just assumed yeah. because of the type of game it was going to be, it was going to be like the others where you don't have to worry about ammo. Right. Just, right. It says Probably right click uses the Tesla cannon, which can charge. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then his okay. shift is his jump pack. He has like your Call of Duty lovers out there. They're gonna this latest Call of Duty, I should say, or your uh, Titanfall, Titanfall lovers or your out Destiny. there, or, or any game that did it before those. Wow, no, <laughs> nobody did it before. Halo, tribes, tribes, tribes. No. tribes. Oh my god, I tribes! Told you, I told you that was the <laughs> first game my mother actually bought me in my teen years. A tribe's called Quest. No, wow, oh, that was terrible. the DLC. That was the DLC because I was called Quest. I Legends. was playing <laughs> Star Wars on the PC, so she's like, "Hey, you like PC games?" Let me go get you this game. And she got me Tribes 2, I believe. Yeah. And I was like, I have no idea what this crap is. And I hated it. Ugh. Now I know how good the game is. All right. But beforehand, when I was in my budding It's stages, probably dense. My yeah. Buddy, yeah. The game that, to me, remi- that my family was playing, but to me, I was like, video games, but that was not, not interesting at all. It was Myst. Oh, my God. My teacher played that. Yeah, I love Mist it's too and slow Riven. For a kid. The and one that no, freaking wasn't. I was a kid when I played it. Made me write a. I definitely had to read the. Uh, the I the hear walkthrough. that everyone has played that. Even my aunt and my mom have played that. But I. Which one, Mist? Yeah, Mist. It was like it's a amazing. real weird. Like, like graphically, really... it was amazing for the time. It's because right? they're all still graphics. Basically, there was no characters happening or anything. And if they were, there were pre-recorded sequences that would happen and be done. I remember, like, my family all being it's stuck beautiful. and all staring at the screen at once because we're, like, we're looking at these mountains and there's supposed to be a face in the mountains and we gotta click something. And then, like, once you click it and it happens, you're like, "Holy crap, we did it! Whoa! We yeah. did it! We did it!" <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, my prediction: when Oculus gets big, Mist is coming back. Okay, that's actually uh, that would be yeah. super fun. I like that. That would I like be that urgent. Call. All right, finally, good episode. I good did job, good? Corey. Yeah, Corey. I did it. Did I win? You nah, can retire now. No, I didn't win. No. Uh, Sir Winston's ult is, of course, like every other gorilla in nature, primal rage, where he berserks out and just smashes everything. He has a leap, though, which is pretty cool, too. He only gets a leap during berserk, though, right? Yes, only gets a leap during berserk. The leap looks pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. Uh, what do we think about the giant gorilla, Macy? Uh, he looks cool. He looks really strong. So I would play him as a cosplayer. I would like to see a Macy Rose cosplay. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. How do you, you how do you cosplay as? You want me to cosplay? That? I like to see I would it happen. Like to see that. But would it be blackface? Gender swap. <laughs> oh. You could. Yeah, I could say you could gender swap it and put a little different spin on it. A pink mm. one. <laughs> yeah, see? as her <laughs> berserk <Paste> mode. <laughs> <laughs> a berserk mode with the pink fur. <laughs> I'm so mad. I don't. I can't, see, <laughs> I can't see Macy getting that intense though. She'd just be so nice. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm raging. <laughs> <laughs> another That's me. Yeah. An, another one for you uh, cosplayers out there, Symmetra. She is a support type of character. Um, she has 
uh, she can deploy sur- uh, surrets. Turrets. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> surrets and tentry guns. Yeah. She has a um, like this charge blast, which can go through any type of, I guess, shields that they showed. The thing I like about this game, too, is like even for the, the running animation for the gorillas were a little goofy. But like just the animations for the characters were all so unique and intriguing. I found myself staring at her because her reload or something, she was making these little prisms out of this glass type thing and he was like sorting them in there yeah, like, yeah. And, and i'm more staring at the animations from the first person before the, the actual moves and the other guy too what was his name the guy with the hammer oh where he Tor- would just Tor- pull Tor- he'd be like cracking an egg into his yeah, yeah. yeah he was pouring the liquid hot metal yeah, yeah that's, that's so cool, cool. A little her, attention to detail her ult was a teleporter a la tf2's engineer engineer um with all her abilities to me she seems like so far in my opinion the most op you can set up three turrets, teleport other people. She can uh, heal people. And then she's got her basic attack, which is just shooting. And then she's got that other ball that goes through shields. And those curves don't lie. Yeah. Look at that. She, say, or she sounds kind of like Middle, Middle Eastern or something like that. Which um, is let's not get into that territory. Unique. Well, she had a very that. gorgeous accent. Very yeah, beautiful. there we go. Beautiful. I loved it. Uh, next on the list, we have the robot Bastion. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they call him Bastion. Because he t- turns into a turret, and a bastion is like defense, so Boom. he turns into a turret. That That's can why we got him stuff. on the show. Well, he also can shoot uh, a automatic rifle. He also can do a self heal. His ult is a landmine. That was a remote mine. Was it a remote mine or was it a proxy mine? So I know they called it a remote mine. Remote controlled mine. Uh, I know, uh, but is it but is it still a proxy? Because you know what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, I, I get what okay. you're saying. Yeah, because the trailer that we saw, we saw an enemy. We saw the mine roll out into the middle of the... Um, and then burrow down. Yeah, burrow down. And, and then, then somebody walked across. Walked across it and it went off, but I didn't see a clear indication of him setting it off. No. So it sounds like it's a remote mine that you can drive somewhere, plant it. It's it a proxy plants, mine. It yeah. takes like five seconds or whatever. Yeah. His... Uh, <clears throat> his turret mode, I saw that he has the shield in front of him. That was and cool. he can get damaged from behind something i saw like a video gameplay where somebody threw or no no one of the other characters used one of their abilities which we'll get to soon uh to shoot and, and like ricochet and hit him from behind stuff like that. oh that's cool yeah it was pretty pretty cool. i do like directional stuff being important in games like that it's like the spy backstab or not mm-hmm. being able to be damaged from the front i think that's really interesting because it can put you in really really cool situations you know that an ability like the like a ricochet shot or something that goes past or through around something can really help you out in a situation like that when normally it wouldn't be as useful. I think so I cool. wonder then how how well the level design is because he not just back himself up against the wall, turn into a turret, throw that. Turret, yeah, like you know? how useful? Like does he have to find the right choke point for that? Yeah, or what does he have to do? Hmm. Uh, one of the ones that I think is going to be a fan favorite amongst a lot of people is Reaper. Uh, he's so dark and edgy. Yeah, he's yeah, just, that's yeah. exactly why. That's why, yeah, yeah. It was he could weird. run around and give out hugs as his ultimate, and everybody would still pick him. <laughs> he's he's on his description. Somebody wrote like that. He he's a pistol wielding terrorist, but he uses shotguns as his basic um, attack. He also has a wraith form, which he becomes what like uh, a Spectral? cloud of smoke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he you know becomes like invincible, sort of, where he can just float through crap. Oh, he's like incorporeal. Incorporeal. That's a good word. It is I a like good word. One. You're welcome. He kind of looks like a Dementor from Harry Potter when he floats around. That's yeah, also a good description. Yeah. Uh, for you Harry Potter freaks. But with freaks a cool out. mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he also can teleport, which is like the longest animation so far we've seen I'm for a teleport. That. That, that'll probably give some Super time. long animation. Yeah. And it makes he, me wonder, though, because you saw how he targeted it non on a non-conjoined uh, area, uh-huh. and it was a different vertical area makes me wonder if he can do it like up on a corner that you can't normally like jetpack to as easily get some vertical stuff that way and then attack in or if he starts up he can go down in like a corner come around to, like a a place where and he... i wonder about his wraith form if he like jumps off from that top will he still will he, will he fall down? yeah will he fall down slower right. or is he just gonna puff a cloud just drop straight down or oh, something that'd be like cool, that like a death from above because with his ult because he's up close yeah and his ult is the um what do they death call it blossom. death blossom yeah 
So he does like this spinning thing where he shoots in all directions and his rates. He form. does gun kata from Equilibrium. That's also good. That's We've got does. so many descriptions. If you don't know what this guy looks like by now, <laughs> our, you, our you, friend the police sketcher is yeah. already on this. He's like, yeah. He's like, there you go, everybody. Now catch this drum. rapist. <laughs> <laughs> You're not catching that rapist. Uh, yeah, I think definitely he's going to be one of the fan favorites there. Um, who we got next? Also, he's really uh, cut and dry on what you want to do with him. Yeah, he you is. Want to, you want to kill people and kill people good. And he's equipped he to do like it. He's going to do yeah. it. Next person from uh, Sweden. Torbjorn. 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 He's an engineer class. Uh, he shoots rivets in two different forms, actually. So he has like a yeah. pistol type one where it's like, uh, I guess, single shot. It's more like maybe? a single shot. And then he has a spread shotgun form where, you know, he pours the molten hot lava into his gun but and it you're not, spreads. You're not picking this guy to deal damage. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Well, you're picking All this of these characters the... look like they can deal a lot of damage, though. From his... I, I think he's more geared towards getting you those turret setups. Well, clearly. I but wanted he's to also more than one, though. Probably. I, it didn't look like it. Didn't me. look like it? No. But it, the the turret has levels, so it's based yeah. on how much time it looks you like he. It looks like he's a turret babysitter. Like, he builds the turret, he babysits it, but he can... That means he can actually cover, like, two choke points pretty well, sort of thing. But from all these characters, he's... Like, if he comes face to face with just about any other one they're gonna mop the floor with him really you yeah. think so oh yeah like one on one one yeah, on one his gun, his gun seems slower than the rest he he's yeah really... it probably hits like a truck i don't know yeah i can see him throwing up some damage like that with a shotgun i guess yeah well the other thing is beat what's his, maker, like but, you know. okay him versus the other chick that has the turrets like she throws multiple ones so it can shoot you from multiple directions he has just kind of one doesn't that kind of negate? Uh, it looks his... like that one did pretty gnarly damage, though. Like, if it's a lot more upfront damage, that might be better versus hers, which looked like they had to have a constant beam. And yeah, there were a bunch of them, mm-hmm. so you make it one kill room or a couple different angles to hit with. But his will have, if it has a clear shot on you, it probably deal a decent amount of damage. That's usually what they do, and that looks like more like the type of character he is. It's uh- the like. Big hits, and then his ult is uh, like molten, molten core. core, where he looks like he just builds faster. Yeah, he just does everything faster. That's cool. He probably hits harder with his hammer. Yeah, one of the female fan favorites, I believe. Not trying to put them in a box, but I'm going to. Uh, the Widowmaker. She is the sniper class uh, out of the bunch, and uh, she's got some pretty interesting moves. She has an assault rifle off the bat, and that turns into a sniper rifle. She can also drop down a visor over her eyes and see through walls, yeah, like yeah, infrared. infrared. Yeah, heat uh, signatures and all that. What was her? Oh, and she has the grappling hook. The grappling hook was awesome. The grappling lie. hook looked amazing. Her ult is actually the... Um... Oh, she sets up the mines as well. She is extremely OP now that I'm reading more on her. She set up those fart mines. Oh, the poison mines. Yep. Fart mines. They're fart mines. <laughs> They're not fart mines. I was, gonna, I was reading the thing and her visor was going to be her ult. Her sniper is called Widow's Kiss. Hmm. Wow. Food for thought. Macy, what do you think about her? Oh, she's super interesting. I love her poison move. That's awesome. Fart bomb. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not a fart bomb. That's what we're calling it. It's called the fart And her bomb. mask is fashionable. <laughs> okay. I wonder how, how would somebody do that as a cosplay? Because her mask moves. I've never I haven't gotten that deep yet. Um I would just probably make it over my eyes um and possibly use something thin like Tupperware or something for the red dots on her mask so then you could still see through. So whenever you're thinking of cosplaying, that's what I want to know. Like do you really think of the materials like did you like whenever you look at the picture you're like oh that can be yeah. foam and that yeah. can be you haven't hmm. done armors yet, have you? No, but um, what most people use for armor is either foam or warbler, and I got a huge set of warbler um, from my boyfriend for my birthday, so I'm going to be doing some armor soon. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, and then, because what was your gun made out of? Was that foam? That was all made out of foam, yeah. How Insulation good. foam and, and good craft artwork. foam. And a month of work, yeah. Jeez, how do you even really conceptualize good. how the angles and the... Like, do you have to draw it out first? or how? It's a lot of steps. Um, yeah, I first just drew it out on paper and then just taped it onto the foam and then cut it out. And um, my foam was four inches thick. It was a really big gun, so um, that was kind of hard to do. And then I glued on all the details with, like, craft foam. 
and then um, just primed and primed with gesso, and then I painted it. Jeez. And you now said this is insulation everybody. foam, right? Yeah, insulation Be foam. Be careful for that asbestos. Right. Yeah, I was Jeez. careful. I wore I a mask. It, I seen it on the 2020. It's, <laughs> it's killing people. On the 2020? Wow. Uh, next character like on the list. 100 years old. <laughs> Next character on the list is straight out of Japan, Hanzo. Hanzo Hattori? He's a former criminal. Did you know that? What? Uh, I knew he had a troubled no. past. Yeah. knew it. I, was is he a bad beard? enough dude to save the, the president's daughter from space jail, though? Yes. Yes, he is, actually. Still need to see that. He has a bow and arrow. Uh, the bow a and arrow? Bone arrow? Actually, uh, yes, a bone and arrow. Um, and from the picture here, the the bow, or the arrow looks pretty dope. It has, like, little... It, does look it seems things. so gratifying if you get that kill. When you, every time you get a kill with a bow, uh, it, it just got to. It kind of looked like it was one hit takedown. Like he's yeah, a sniper. It didn't really look like he had to aim much either. It was just the general direction. The Ooh. scatter shot was is pretty much point and click. Yeah. His other one, yeah, scatter shot showed him aim towards a wall of a small like a uh, hallway, and he just took out two people because the arrow bounced off Ricochet. and then scattered <laughs> into a whole bunch yeah. of different arrows. That was cool. That uh, was really cool. And though. he could scale walls. He's a parkour master, everybody. Parkour. And he can, yeah, scale walls. He actually has one of the most visual, visually pleasing ults, in my opinion. That's true. Uh, yes. He summons, like, these giant twisting dragons that just go into... It's almost like it was, of... like, a double dragon. <laughs> his ult almost. Remi- his copyright. ult reminds me of the same ult <laughs> from uh, League. Uh, not League. Uh, from Smite. The guy, A, a Mighty Storm. Oh, oh, yeah. Except for his doesn't blow wind. I mean, it looked, <laughs> down, way, down a lane. it looked way more beautiful. Yeah. But it was the same concept because what, what was his name? You're talking about Al Kwong. Al Kwong. His, his ability would go through walls and stuff, and it was a spirit dragon, you know, Which, tearing things apart. Speaking of Al Kwong, the game is being released in China very soon. They get the new version of Al Kwong first, and then he comes over to America. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think they're doing something. More traditional to how I guess Al Kwong is represented over there in China because he's a Chinese god. So they were like, "Here you guys go first, and then North America next year." Anytime you make a game with people's gods in it, you got to be careful. It feels like because you know there's someone. Oh yeah, that's not how Al Kwong looks. Yeah, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Uh, next one on the list. No is... Jesus character yet, though. No, not enough. yet. He'd be a healer though. Uh, Zenyatta. <laughs> He would actually destroy bankers. Wow. <laughs> Zenyatta is a monk. Looks robotic, uh, which is kind of weird. Because if you're a monk that's robotic, really? This game, you're trying to help people transcend. And a few characters did transcend? that. Because okay. you hit the singularity. Trans- okay, yeah. all right. I, I, this game did that on a few characters. Like It's like, hey, let's make the monkey... You know, you'd think he's just going to be a crazy ain't rage monster, but he's super intelligent. He's got glasses. Well, that's an old trope. Yeah, they're and, hitting a lot of tropes. Yeah, but then they take this one. It's like, oh, the monk. Wait, Usually it's human in wait, essence. Wait, Blizzard stuff. is hitting a lot of tropes? A Blizzard doesn't hit design? tropes. What are you no, talking about? No. Uh, but then, you know, it's... He the, looked really cool, though. The robot is... He shoots monk. balls. He throws balls. Uh, he balls. looks like he buffs characters and debuffs uh, enemies. And then makes them all invincible. And his ult is making everybody around him invincible. My personal favorite character coming up next, Reinhardt. Reinhardt from Germany. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, giant, bulking, rocket type hammer. of person. He has a rocket hammer. He swings it and kills everybody Shields. in his past. Shields. Shields. And his ult is a... Ground knockdown. Uh, it's a knockdown, yeah. First, the, pretty uh, much the only the CC. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen that from any of the other characters. Uh, after that, we have... What's the Farah. name? Farah. 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 Farah Fawcett. I, Rocket my freaking, Soldier. My thing closed on me that's why I uh, <laughs> that's why this, is the, this is a character that the call of duty people are going to gravitate towards the halo fans it's, it's got a lot of the very same mechanics yeah about, very standard fare she's high attack it seems like like oh yeah yeah no yeah. a mobile attack all the thing yeah, like shoots iron, rockets you call her the female iron man female yeah. iron man she has oh yeah all the same she's abilities. the one with the jet pack yes yeah. she can fly a little glide yeah, a little she's cool and then her ult is a, a barrage of missiles that just rain down uh, and then the last person on the list is Mercy. Mercy, she Mercy. She is all about helping you out. She can heal. Mercy. Uh, <laughs> she can fly as well. Beautiful angel wings. She can boost you up to where you do more damage against other opponents. And you then know we'll what? resurrect a dead ally. Yeah, she's, her ult is resurrection. I think I read something on Kotaku is scanning through the stories. I'm saying like, oh, they're going to do women characters justice. But... They all seem way too, like, curvaceous and beautiful still. Are you trying to say women aren't curvaceous and beautiful? I mean, I I want to see a fat chick. Well, what about her right there, the Iron Man girl? She's not curvaceous. Those are, like, 90-degree angles everywhere. No way her hips could be that small. Uh, They're still sexualized in ways. She's actually a midget, and her body is in the top part of that. She's actually uh, just a head. (laughs) She's just a head, really. That's it. That's awful. So that's what that is. She's trying to get ahead in life. 
And how do you not know Reinhardt isn't a uh, female? Could be. See, I think you're just assuming stuff. Yeah, well, that's it for the show, right? Uh, nope, that's not it for the show. Uh, all around impressions, real quick, of Overwatch, Macy. Oh, I'm I'm so for it. I'm gonna definitely get into that <laughs> and cosplay Mercy, maybe because she's gorgeous. Can't wait to see the wings, Alex. <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic. It looks like it'll be fun. I honestly want to play it because I want to see how much different it will go or be versus uh, TF2 and all that. I want to see how they make it special and unique. Uh, I was about to say Steven. Uh, Corey. How dare you? Yep, I truly was about to say Steven. That is offensive. Uh, To Steven, I know. Corey, your thoughts (laughs) on it? son of a bitch. Steven wishes he can grow facial hair this sweet. Your thought on it? Uh, You know, I'll get into it. I'll pull Macy. I'll get in that. (laughs) <laughs> uh, wow. But I really want to know how much it's going to be. I want to know more. It's going to be free to play. I want to know if they're going to add more characters. <sighs> they're going to add more No, characters. it might not be free to play. It's this is, free this to play. is the same people who released Diablo at full pri- Diablo 3 at full, full price on the PC, which is wrong. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Also, wait, they've wait. released separately the StarCraft 2 story, the story mode, uh-huh. each expansion they've done. The only reason is to play it for this. The only yeah. thing you're buying is the story mode. They've released those at full, basically full price each time. But those are for story mode games. I think that's what's the difference between these and that. Story mode game for... Is that what it is? Yeah. And that's where the accent story, comes from. Story modes in StarCraft and in uh, Diablo. No story mode, really, in Hearthstone. Free game. No story mode in... Um, I guess. In Heroes of the Storm. Free game. And no story mode in this one. Mm, maybe. Equals free game, everybody. Hmm. Did you just shut up, Aaron, or Alex? Uh, it's Patterns. happened occasionally. Oh, yeah. okay. It's happened occasionally. I don't like to think about dumb things. So. Wow, how dare you say Like Blizzard how games. You, uh, another thing I wanted to do is ask, because um, of the two game modes that they have, like I said, once you die, you can choose another character. So that's how they're trying to get away from the meta. Should they have done that? Should they have kept it to where you lock in a character and you are... I feel like you could uh, easily do different modes for it. I think that would be cool. Like, pick one, stick with one, you know? Yeah, pick one, stick with um, one. Or the ability to shift seems like it would be good for... Because I know in TF2, it's really nice to be able to sh- switch. If you, like, capture points really fast in the beginning, you can be a scout and just get a bunch. And then once you start hitting actual defenses, you might need to go to a demo or a soldier to do more damage and stuff like My that. My question is, is, is everyone going to be able to pick the same character? Like, Ooh. well, certain are there be, lockouts? Yeah, will it be locked out know. if everyone else on your team has someone you can only choose of what's still available? Right, I don't know if there's anything like that. That'd be really interesting, like a draft the, mode. Yeah, with the opposite team, you'd have to worry about too. Cause... Right. Hmm, Wish we had somebody questions. there. Wish we had somebody there. <laughs> Macy, who are you looking forward to playing with? Um, playing with you guys. No, I mean, yeah, like the that's the correct answer. <laughs> I mean, she wins. What the, does she get, Aaron? The characters oh, out of the oh, 12. I would, we, no, I would be trying all of them out, especially since every time you die, you can try a different character. It makes it really easy. Mm. See, I tried being that type of person with Smite, and then I just realized I don't like anybody well, listen, else besides I'm the type before. of person who, like, has to pick. I don't know. Terrible. With that. Who would you go as first? <laughs> uh, I'm picking the Rocket Hammer guy. Reinhardt. Because, and I was watching, like, every time they'd show someone use their abilities on him, his, he's obviously a tank because yes. the, the headshot move, it took her, she had to shoot him in the face twice. Yes. And in games, shoot me in the once. Shoot me in the face once. Shoot me in the once. Shame, <laughs> shame, on me. shame on me. Shame on me. <laughs> shoot me in the shoot once. Me. Shame. <laughs> shoot me in the twice. Shame on. <laughs> shame on us. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm picking that guy. And then uh, with the second on Yasuo Jr., mm. I want to be Arrow and say, you oh, have failed this no. game. And by the time you're done saying that, they've shot you in the yeah, head <laughs> because you haven't pulled your bow back. <laughs> Alex, your cautious choice? Um... Probably like Bastion looked really cool. That and Zenyatta. You got really excited for Mercy. Mer- I'm gonna end up playing Mercy. I, kn- I just know because I'm gonna want to heal people because I want them to do better. Uh, I just I just want people to do better out there, man. And it's just good. Here to support. You. We we don't have a lot of people like that in no, games. We don't. We have like literally playing the games that I've you know the mobas that I've been playing, the League of Legends, the Smite, and stuff like that. When you have people jump in the room and then instantly play you know mid nobody instantly goes oh I want to be support like <laughs> nobody ever Besides says David. that yeah like David is like the <laughs> rare person that ever, you know that, that picks that role but like nobody I don't know it's because it's super stressful it, it can be I understand. well it is period there's... because you're living off of your team if your team is failing there's nothing you can do Macy you support 
Um, no, I normally don't, but I was just saying that there's definitely a lack of healers in the world, because every time I try to get people together for a dungeon in ESO, it takes like a half an hour to get a healer. Oh, it's wow. crazy. More healers, everybody. Yeah. You still you have by. an ESO, huh? Um, no, I actually haven't played in a long time, but I want to resubscribe now that I'm done with my Maya cosplay that took two months of my life. Jeez. <laughs> Why am I blanking on what ESO is? Elder Scrolls Online. Ah, Yes. <laughs> yes, no. I played it at E3. Oh, did she just say shut up? Yeah, she did. <laughs> I played. You, use your voice, girl. I, I, Don't she's keep that quiet. Tell I this man it, to shut up. I played it at E3. You look at him in the face and you I, tell him to shut th- up. Th- have I told? Have I told you that the, the the little Asian girl next to me was so intense in that game? I she was, was in that game with you. She was so intense, killing me like every like, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. And I was like. I don't know who you are. Like, I don't know what wrong I've done to you, <laughs> but you are like focusing me so hard. Should have got her number. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she can kill me in my sleep or something. Mm. And then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then she got she like gave the guy his her card or something. Like yeah, I do videos on this. And then she walked off. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, she lays cool. a smackdown and drops a card on the table. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Mic drop out. Mic <laughs> mic drop. Uh, yeah. So that was Overwatch. Everybody. That was right. the uh, Game Bang's uh, take on Overwatch. Looks good. Yeah, it is visually appealing on all fronts. I will say that. Very visual. All of the characters are gorgeous. All of the uh, levels looked gorgeous. So, yeah. End of the day, sure is pretty to look at. We'll see in the coming months. All right, everybody. That sounds like the wrap up music. Uh, you've been hearing it for some time now. We've heard it for <laughs> some time as well. Uh, for Corey, Macy, and Alex, I am Sir Aaron Carter, and I will see you in the Overwatch realm. I guess. See ya. Bye. Let me bang you, I man. do let you bang. Hey. Let me bang you too, man. I let you bang. I let you bang. I let you bang. Let me bang you. 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 Let me bang you.